Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my second video on web scrapping. By the end of this video, you will learn how to use Beautiful Soup and also you will learn how to fetch product details like product name, price, ratings and review count from flipkart.com. So this process can be used for any product from this site. So without wasting any further time, let's copy the URL and get started with the coding part. So to fetch those details, uh, we need to get the HTML content first. So for that, I'm making an HTTP GET call here. So assign the response to any variable. Yeah. So uh, so this HTML content needs to be passed with beautiful soup object, right? So this beautiful soup object accepts two arguments. One is HTML content. The second one is parser type. So since it is HTML content, so I uh, need to specify the parser type as html.parser. So a new variable. Now fetch the title name. Sorry, title. So select it, inspect it. Yeah. So if you see that uh, this particular tag uh, have uh, only one attribute, that's a class. So let's copy the attribute value. So the syntax is soup.find tag name attribute name attribute value yeah we got that particular tag so now let's print the text yeah it's value yeah assign it to a new variable i'll assign it to product underscore name yeah yeah now we got the uh, product name so now let's fetch the product price go to the page select it Inspect it. Yeah, take the attribute value. The syntax is same. Soup dot find tag name attribute name attribute value. Yeah, we got the tag. Let's print the price. So let's assign this particular tag to a new variable. So I'll assign it to price underscore tag. So and I'll also create one more uh, variable called uh, product price. And I'll assign the value to zero, the default price. So the reason I am I I created a new uh, tag variable is uh, for some products there won't be any price available. So so for them this particular tag may not be available, right? So uh, that's why I'm checking uh, if the tag exists, then fetch the uh, product price. So if the tag doesn't exist, then uh, the price product price will be zero. Yeah. So when you see uh, in the price, there's a, uh, a rupee symbol, right? Let's replace that. Basically, let's remove it. Yeah, it's a typo. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's remove the uh, comma as well. So I guess this particular uh, price, right? What we have is a string. So let's convert it to a float. Right? Yeah. So now we got the product price as well. Yeah. Now let's just fetch the ratings and reviews counts. Yeah. So uh, let's go to the page. Go to the page. Select it and inspect it yeah so the child tags right i don't have any attribute so i'm taking its parent uh, class parent tags attribute so the syntax is still same soup dot find tag name attribute name attribute value yeah we got that particular tag Let's assign this to a new variable. So I'll assign it to a variable called uh, rat review main span. Yeah. yeah. Let's print its value. Yeah. So if you see here, we have some special characters in this string. So let's try to replace them. I mean, remove them. Yeah, those are unique characters. I'll remove like this. Yeah. 
so let's send it to new variable called rat and review so if we can split it, this string with the ampersand symbol then we'll have ratings and reverse values separately yeah so i'll assign this uh, list to a new variable called rat review list yeah now let's just get the ratings and reverse values separately into new variables yeah so uh, for some products right this particular tag uh, ratings and reviews tag itself is not available let's show you an example so if i select this product if you see here this particular product don't have any ratings and reviews because it's a new product right so uh, so in this case uh, this particular code will break because that tag doesn't exist so uh, let's uh, check if the tags exist then only fetch the ratings and reviews if not uh, take the uh, default values so let's refactor code a little bit so check now we have the uh, variables and assign its value to zero in default values. Zero ratings. Reviews. Zero reviews. So now if the tag exists, fetch the details. Yeah. Now we have ratings in this. So, uh, so we just fetched the product name, price. And ratings and reviews counts so this is a small attempt to explain how you can use beautiful soap and also how to fetch the product details from flipkart.com so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel making more videos on python and web scrapping and also on data science so thank you thank you so much